Hello? I just killed your boy, Sean. I had to. He was gonna shoot my son. I'm gonna do what I have to do to you, protect you. You have the life. wrong number. You called me last time, and I don't know who you are. Stop calling me. Jesus. Welcome to Durant Cinema. We're going reviewing Run All Night. Yeah, I need to change my phone number. Now this movie stars Liam Neeson, Joel Kinnaman, and Ed Harris. Now what the movie's about, this kid named Michael, it's a Liam Neeson's son, and now he witnesses a murder, now he's on the run, until Liam Neeson steps in and guns the guy down. The guy that they killed is the son of Liam Neeson's good friend, played by Ed Harris. Now he calls him up and tells him that, and, and he ain't happy. What he does is he gangs up all his members, he tells them to go out there and track these guys down any way possible, in the, you know, the family members, or whatever they can, to kill these two. And he won't stop at anything until he gets justice. Now what I thought about this movie? I have to say, coming out of the theater, I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was pretty good. Let's say this is one of Liam Neeson's better movies. Yeah, not you taking sequels. Fuck off. I like Liam Neeson, but he's always not in the best movies, or he's always that, you know, the typical, you know, gun-shooting guy. And he is this in this movie. He is that. But you actually get a little more from him this time. You got a whole different range of him. At the beginning, you got this, like, drunken Santa, and <laughs> that was hilarious. Like I said, you get where he's just killing people, he's kicking ass, taking names. You get a glimpse of, like, emotion from him. You get him, like, caring. And then there was a part where it's just like, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's weird with this character because he's not a good guy. He's not, but you root for him though. Oh, this character has gone through so much shit in the past that it's like catching up to him. Where it's just like, it's really haunting him and like all the bad stuff that he did. Pushed his family away where his son doesn't even want to see him. And that's why they clash together. And that's what this movie kind of is also about. You buy this relationship because, you know, with the they tell their backstories and you believe it. And I get where they're all coming from. And it's not like other father-son relationships. <laughs> Which brings me to Joel Kinnaman. And is it me or... Do I see this guy playing Hitman. He, like, this guy should be the Hitman, because there's parts where he's got the suit, tie, the bald head. No, just me? All right. But no, he did a pretty good job in this movie. And also, Ed Harris in this film, he does really awesome. You know, he's he plays a villain, but in a weird way, you kind of like him in this movie. Which is weird, too. Like, you kind of understand where he's come from. Like, he's a bad guy, but son dies. Like, you can kind of like, okay, I know where all this anger is coming from. I get it. Like, the relationships between all these characters. And I thought it was a good movie. I really did. I had a fun time watching that. But there were some parts in the film that I didn't really care for. Everything seemed to be very convenient. Very convenient. It seemed to fit perfectly in each place. It was just like, especially there's one scene where they, this guy is looking through a photo and it has the address of the location where they need to be. What are the odds of that? Where like you felt they were trapped, they were cornered, and then all of a sudden they just show them off escaping. I'm like, what? wait, wait, what happened to that? What, what's going on? And Liam Neeson's character, he even says in Hunted Down, like, he's the top person that they're all looking for. But yet he has time to go in public and go eat in a public restaurant. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. One person I didn't really care for, this guy. I don't know. Something about him, I just felt like, you know, he was just okay. Everything else, I was well shot. I thought some of these scenes were actually pretty intense. And I really enjoyed that about it. If you want Liam Neeson as your Santa, Call this number right here, 1-800-LIAM-NEESON-SANTA. Now that's 1-800-LIAM-NEESON-SANTA. That would be pretty cool. Now it's time to rate this movie. I'm going to have to give Run All Night an 8.3 out of 10. And yeah, I'll probably definitely check it out again. You know, I wouldn't mind. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, did you like this video? Hit like down below. Leave me a comment. And if you want, you can even subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys have a good day. And enjoy.